All right, The Walking Cory asks, uh, if you were in a real zombie apocalypse, what would be your survival tactics? Um, I would probably just hide. I'd probably go to like the top floor of like a Four Seasons and lock the door and just, you know, try to watch South Park until until the, until my last breath. Um, yeah, I have no skills in the woods whatsoever. Um, okay, um, that name asks, <laughs> have you ever actually tried squirrel meat? Um, that's a funny, funny question because. I did this conference type thing, like a con type thing, and it was about a thousand people in front of me, and this one girl stands up in the back of the room and she held up um, a plastic bag, and the plastic bag uh, had this meat in it with this little yellowy oil stuff, and she walks up and she goes, it's squirrel. I hunted it down with a shovel. And I had the guy that was moderating this panel try it, uh, but not, I didn't eat it. <laughs> All right, Samanova93 asks, have you ever had any strange or crazy fan reactions, experiences? Yeah, that was one. The squirrel meat was one. Um, I had these lovely girls from Japan show up one time with uh, a plastic bottle, and they came up and they go, please blow. And I was like, what? And I go, please blow. And I was like, and they grabbed it really quick and they sealed it up and they wrapped it up and they took it back to Japan. So I don't know what they did with my breath, but it's somewhere in Japan. Um, all right, Scrub Hill 66 asks, <clears throat> um, how much influence do you have with writers on your character's development? Do you consider suggestions from fans? Yeah, all the time. Um, well, Glenn Mazzara is, uh, he's big on Twitter and stuff and I know he gets a lot of, uh, Mail asking about uh, you know certain character stuff, but the writers are very generous with us. They allow us to go into the writers' room and talk about our characters and ask you know like, what does Daryl think of T Dog, blah 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 blah. And sometimes uh, like the thing with television sometimes is you get to do these little scenes and you kind of drop these little hints and these little seeds in the ground and sometimes they turn into storylines. Um, uh, for example, uh, Carol when she leans over and kisses me on the forehead after Andrea shoots me, uh, I kind of flinched, like, like she's going to hit me. And now there's a whole storyline about how, you know, being an abused kid, and it kind of ties in with some ideas that originally started with Daryl. So, yeah, the writers are very generous with us and, and let us play with them. Um, let's see. Uh, Hoodie 3 asks, Norman, when's your book coming out? Which celebrity would you pick as a zombie for the show? Any art shows coming up? I, you know, I just had an art show in Times Square um, that we did for Oxfam for charity, and it was 25 huge photographs. Um, uh, there was supposed to be my time in Georgia, um, but it was like glamour shots of roadkill, basically. They were really big, and then they were like, like these are shoppers in Times Square. They don't want to see pictures of cats with their eyeballs popped out but we did it anyway but we sold every single photo so that was good um when's your book coming out i'm still working on a book i still want to do a book of photography i want to do two books i want to do an affordable book and then i want to do a completely unaffordable book. <laughs> um which celebrity would you pick as a zombie for the show um uh russell brand would be cool he would be a good one um who else uh, Leonard Nimoy would be a good one. Alright, thanks guys.